So how did <laughs> yeah, these, how did these people, um, how did these people get into power? Like all, all like you're, you're literally saying that everyone, like all the celebrities, all the politicians are, you know, pedophiles with, with, you know, like the sex rings. So how did they because get into the power? Because goes back to ancient times. Okay. So because it goes back to it goes back to ancient times right okay so check it out right here's how here's how it's easy because people people for some reason got it in their minds that there's some kind of hard line drawn between uh you know pre-industrial revolution and after the industrial revolution especially since you know people the you know the world started running on computers and stuff you know high tech and all that it's like no, there was emergence and people were still alive and people were in power during those convergences of technology. What you do is when you live in ancient times, let's say you're starting there and you're into a bunch of satanic weird shit that's really easy to get away with because there's not cameras everywhere yet and you're already in power, you just got to keep a close trace on your bloodline Keep, keep the power and the money within the bloodlines, keep the information within the bloodlines and the bloodlines that you fuck with. Don't fuck with anybody else outside those bloodlines. Uh, 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 and then keep yourselves in power. It's, that's, that's all you got to do. They were just already in power. Like, yeah, uh, you, it's, it, it goes into the, to the 13 bloodlines that, you know, of the Illuminati and this and that and the other. And dude, just the, I know that a lot of stuff that I'm going to say here, like Illuminati and things like that, that all sounds like really cliche in this and that. Yep. Well, that's, that's kind of part of the point too. They make you think that it sounds ridiculous so that you won't believe it. That's probably yeah. one of their best weapons is the fact that people think the shit sounds ridiculous, but it's not. It does sound like a damn horror movie. Be, who do you think has control over fucking Hollywood? They make <laughs> the shit cliche so that you won't believe it. It's like, oh, you watch too many damn movies. It's like, no, apparently you don't watch enough fucking movies because <laughs> the symbolism's all there. They've been drip feeding the shit in front of your face for a long time. Come to find, and, and, and people are like, okay, first of all, one of the first questions is going to be, well, if they're really doing that stuff, why would they shove it in our faces like that? That yeah. seems pretty stupid. Well, on top of not only is the best place to hide something in plain sight, but on top of that, they're actually required to do it by their own religious doctrine. It's called ritual mocking of the victims. We're the victims. Literally, it's a ritual mocking. That's why they dangle the shit in front of your face. And again, it's just the best place to hide something is in plain sight. If you if they put enough, they put enough of the stuff in the movies, uh, in this in all these different cinematic universes to make, you know, in all these quote unquote fake universes. So that when people come out about the truth, that's the response they get. Oh, you've been watching too. You, you've been watching too many damn movies. That's your problem. <laughs> too many damn movies.